How you doing? How can I help you today? I have something I think you might like here. All right, yeah, just sit it Looking down to sell. here. Check it out. Yeah, I, I like your look. It's quite mesmerizing. Thank you, Very thank you. Very fantastic oracle. I'm Lincoln, by the way. Lincoln, I go by Kung Fu Vampire. With light, there's gotta be dark. I just love the eternal search of blood and how much I love the way it looks and feels and the wet gooiness of it all. So, uh, what have you brought in for me? I'll let you look at it. Wow, look at this. This is a fruit bat, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah. How did you come by this guy? It was given to me as a gift. I think it's cool how you can see everything, all the details, and just the way it's laid out. I thought it was really unique. What is the actual process that this was preserved in? The process of taxidermy involves, like, A, freezing it, then taking a scalpel and removing the skin, and then from there, taking measurements of the musculature and the skeletal structure so that they can properly form a mold around which the skin that was removed would be placed. Cool. Normally, taxidermy involves removing the skin of an animal and placing it over a mold. Whoever did this bat left the skeletal and muscular details intact, which makes this specimen especially creative and unique. So you are looking to sell this specimen, right? Yeah, I'm looking to maybe get like, I don't know, 250 for it, I was thinking. Would you happen to have papers of documentation? No. No cataloging? No. Unfortunately, state law absolutely prohibits me from buying such an item without proper documentation, I'm afraid. There's endangered species laws, especially if it's undocumented and there's no papers. Endangered? I didn't, you know, I didn't know about that or the paperwork or anything, so I'm glad to keep her. Good, cheers. Thank you. Take care.